Hello, this is Johnny Wu here. I'm uh, trying to. This is what you see here in front of your monitor screen is the Cam 7000, which is the first generation before they went to 32 bit. Um, right now, here you can see there's an 8 bit uh, enclosure inside. What we're going to do right now is take this apart, take it out, and change it back to the 32 bit, which is that is sitting over here. And once we get this 32 bit set up, then we can. Uh, make it run and hopefully it works everything perfectly well. Cross our fingers, right? So here it goes. So now that we have this open, you can see we have written the R, P, Y, roll, pitch, yaw. This way when you take, take them apart, you know where they go. And this is for the sensor. We are using the new sensor so we can take that out. Now we're going to disconnect everything else. Notice the power we had to use a soldering to heat this up and take this out apart because we're going to use the same cable for the new controller. And here is the 32 bit and side by side to the 8 bit. You can tell, see the differences. I'm going to be doing this in the same exact position. So it'll be like this just because I have everything already take, uh, planned out that, that way. Uh, you can always put this different direction, you can put it this way, or, but because uh, the, the original one I have all the power soldering and the top there, so I'm going to keep it consistent, just for the heck of it. All right, we're back here. So um, we're waiting for the soldering thing to uh, get a little hot enough to be able to unsolder this. So uh, we're going to take it apart and then we're going to try to connect one part of it to the switcher, which I had the box with the switch. I never used it because I got lazy. But now I have the reason to actually attach to that so we can go from that point. First thing first is find a way to make sure this thing doesn't move around. All right, so now we finally, well, we use this little thing, applier thing, and then we just cut it off and a little bit of wiring. Now I'm going to take this out and then continue on to the next process. The one thing I do not like about Game Boy is they have so many different types of screws that you have to find a way to take them out. I only use two screws because the case seems to be a little bit too small for this controller. And when I push it too hard into the back, um, it shorted it out somehow. So that's a basic box. And here is the old controller. Right. Now we're going to be using this little switch here, on and off switch, kind of cool. What we're going to do is we're going to iron solder one part of it. The one, the one way I like to do always this way, so you can never break it. <laughs> Make my, dev, my life a little much more harder later down the road, but at this point it's actually better. So this end is going to go to the controller, that one go to here. What it does is it's going to, when you turn it on, then you, you, you will power the controller. If you want to wonder about how you get this wiring, um, computer power supply come with this kind of stuff, connectors. So I just take one out because I don't need it. Uh, 
part is done. So the new 32-bit controller have two, two areas where you had to put the soldering on. The black will be negative, should be go to ground, and this yellow will be positive, go to the positive part of it. Uh, at this point, we're probably going to cut this a little bit shorter so I can fit it in there. And I'm going to do this part first. You do the job, and then we do the other one. Twisting the wiring a little bit so it's much more easy to solder it up. That's it for now. Make sure it works. Yep. So I'm going to put back the back part of it. So now we kind of have all the wires ready to go. The next step is connecting the different motors wiring. I will go, I went through the little box here, so this will be easier to do. So, well, I have to set it back up again. <laughs> so here what we do R go to roll roll which is the bottom bottom pitch go to top uh, middle You all go on the top. It's a little bit different from the other one. The other version was uh, upside down. All right, so we got the um, board all tied up into the little box part of it, and then the, the, the switch is done. The next thing I'm going to do is the little joystick. On Kim's <laughs> drop it and loosen it. The Kim, on Kim TV website, they have the joystick on the left side of the, of the, the handle. I don't like that, I prefer to be in the right side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it here. And the one thing you're gonna do is the wiring, you wanna be able to go through between the tubes and then basically then go from here, down here, as I already have. And then you go the other part, all the way through here, go up in here, the tube, and go up here, out. This is what I'm gonna do. So once it's done, we'll come back for the rest of it. Right, so now we have all the wiring going through the, uh, through the tube uh, all the way to the back. Now we have this connector for the joystick. The, the yellow buttons is going to, the yellow cable is go all the way to the top here. And then the blue one go to next to it. So you basically just push it in, that's it. And then the other one too, um, you should be able to find out from website, Cam TV website. They do, have, do actually have a really good explanation how to connect this wiring. So you just have to follow instructions that you should be good to go. We'll see you shortly after this is done.